All right, in this video, I want to talk to you about the use of tile gasket on the Airweights work holding system. Airweights are a vacuum work holding solution for small format CNC's. And there are three ways to use them. Uh, the first is direct mount, meaning that your stock sits right on top of the airweight itself. The second is the use of a sacrificial layer called tile gasket, and it's put onto MDF, which is what we're going to talk about today. And the third approach is using dedicated fixture plates which are another semi-sacrificial surface, and it allows you to cut all the way through, but it's for more of a production setting, so not so much one-off projects. So there's that second approach. That second approach is what we're going to talk about today. And Tile Gasket is a product from All Star CNC Products. Those guys are great. Love them. And uh, we will also be offering it directly on our website. Uh, Tile Gasket is a perforated sheet. It's a foam rubber. Looks like this. And it's adhesive backed. And what it does is it helps control your holding force a lot better than just using simply a sacrificial surface of MDF itself. Uh, MDF is a porous material and it allows air to pass through the sheet. And uh, we'll talk about a, little bit of a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, basically what you do to use tile gasket on your airweight's work holding system is you take a piece of MDF. Uh, we recommend quarter inch thick or th super thin MDF because we don't want as you know that much air leaking out the edges. So to keep it simple and still give you plenty of material to cut into, we recommend quarter inch MDF. Uh, I bought a two by four piece of MDF at a big box store, cut it in half, and here it is. So you place it down on your Airweights work holding system, and you turn on your pump. Give a little pressure, and uh, like I said, MDF is porous, so I can feel air pulling on the palm of my hand when I create a seal on this surface. Um, but the next step is to go ahead and face the top side of your MDF, so you want to machine off about you know ten thousandths of an inch uh, depth on this top surface, and just open up the pores on this top surface to allow more air to pass through the sheet. Then you're going to go ahead and flip that sheet over and face the other side. Take off another tenth hour or so. And once you have that done, uh, you can turn off your pump. And then you would take your tile gasket. And this is adhesive backed, like I said. So you just go ahead and peel off uh, the backer. And then you place the tile gasket onto your MDF and do your best to align it. It can be a little, little tricky the first time, but once you get it down, it's super easy. You just stick it onto the MDF. And once you have your tile gasket applied to your MDF, it'll look like this. So I have a, a two foot by two foot piece of MDF with the tile gasket on it. And all I, you can see this side is face. You can see the marks from actually machining it. And I would just go ahead and place this onto my Airweights vacuum table <clears throat> and making sure it's centered, turn on my vacuum pump. And now this piece of material is held on here with vacuum pressure. And at each one of these little openings, air is passing through, but the, the bulk surface area of the sheet is now sealed. So what we do now is we simply take our stock material and place it onto that piece. Now, at this point, you can now machine your part. You can cut through it. You can cut all the way down into this sacrificial surface, which is the tile gasket. And uh, once you start to cut into it a lot and you have a lot of machining marks in it, you simply peel off the old layer of tile gasket and apply a new one and you're ready to start machining again. So a very simple approach, allows you to cut all the way through, and really nice holding force on here. So, you know, you can slide it if you really tried, but uh, for the most part, you gotta be on a corner, and you really gotta be pushing, but um, it's pretty on there. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn my pump off now, and once you finish your machining, you simply remove your material and your finished part, and you're done. So that's how tile gasket is used on the Airweights work holding system. We're very excited about this approach. I think it provides a lot of value for anyone who's processing sheet goods or is just getting into vacuum work holding. 
and is still you know, working to understand all the ins and outs of it. So very approachable, very simple, very direct, and uh, we hope that you'll enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.